Hi everyone, just going to do a narration to this video. I didn't actually film anything at the time that I made these, so I thought if I do it now, I um, will be able to get through it without forgetting too much. So this is the um, in the clutches of Shelob set from Games Workshop. This you've got uh, Shelob, obviously the spider, um, then you've got Frodo and Sam. The Frodo model is quite nice because it's wrapped in webs. So I've got a few pictures here to go through first. So. Shelob was a uh, a bit of a bitch to put together simply because um, the way the legs work is that each leg glues in individually into a slot but then the problem you've got is that the slot is a lot bigger than the legs so I had to try and put some green stuff in there as well to cover it over. You can see in this picture that I've the way I planned to do the rock was to have it rearing up a little bit so the problem I had here was that if I did this, then I didn't have contact points for four of the legs to actually contact the rocks. Which was alright because in the end I actually managed to have an additional contact point on the sort of like um, base of her abdomen. So there was four contact points. But having this, like in this um, sort of setup, meant that I had to make sure that the legs looked right otherwise if the legs there were gaps in the legs and of course any if you're ever viewing the model from the front then it's going to stand out quite badly so as i said i did shelob it's quite it was quite simple to do to be honest um it was it didn't take a lot of effort it's mainly just it was just a case of dry brushing it in um, a gray color and then going over it a couple of times adding a little bit of a sort of flesh color to it to bring out some pink bits on the stomach um, then I freehand did freehand on the body. Didn't really know what to do with the body because the pictures from the film are a bit rubbish, and the Games Workshop sets do have her just looking a bit like a black blob. So I wanted to try do something a little bit different with the markings on her back. So I went for a sort of like a symmetrical pattern, trying to think what how might might the hair grow on a. Um, I suppose a spider that big and beyond that it was just a case of doing um, the claws the teeth bits and pieces here and there it was quite it was quite a simple model to do to be fair also comes with a um, as I said a Frodo and Sam so at this point you can just see that I'm showing off the Frodo the Frodo sorry Sam so he's got sting and he's got the um, light of Gladriel there it also comes with a, a sort of a Frodo, which is wrapped in webs. Now this one's really nice. I did, I have press molded this. I'm planning to try and turn it into a, an objective marker for myself, maybe on a 40 mil base. But it's just, just this is quite simple, simple and effective. Try to do him in a sort of pasty colour to make it look like he's been stung. Might be a bit dead. But it was a really nice model to paint overall. The whole thing worked really well. Um, I gave it to Josh and I believe he's happy with it. I think he wants to try use her in a um, Mordor army as a sort of like a, just a, some extra points. But overall, very, very happy with how it worked out. Very happy with how she actually came out. 